guys, welcome to the checklist. So we showed you guys how to make simple homemade samosas today. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the dry veg, which is the dough. Um, it's called chipati. I'll be preparing it, and in this bowl, I have four cups of flour, mm -hmm. and I'm going to add the salt. How much of it? So they're saying one teaspoon of salt. So we're going to add one tablespoon. Oh, one tablespoon. Yeah. Okay. One full tablespoon. Or as you like it. Like some people like salt. Yeah, some people like salt. Some people, people don't, don't like salt. So just it's add as much as you want. One tablespoon of salt and mm -hmm. one ounce water, right? Now we're going to add um, a cup. Okay, we're going to start first with a teaspoon, a tablespoon of oil. Tablespoon of oil. Mm -hmm. Right. Now this is where your hands need to get dirty, yeah. because that's when you have way. to you have to start crumbing it. Oh my hands! You have to brush it. Also, oh, no water first. Huh? No water. No, no water. Water only goes. Okay, in so I'm gonna mix it with my clean fingers. Mm -hmm. Um. Pile? Yeah, rub it like that. Um. Apparently, mm -hmm. you should rub it like this. Okay, this bowl is a little. Okay, let me come in and help you just a little bit. You want to put in more salt? More I mean, oil. oil. Yeah. So you need to you need to put in as much oil until the flour becomes like breadcrumbs. You understand? Yeah, it should be like it should be grainy. Yes, it should be way. granular. And make sure that the oil and the salt like you touches can do it every like particle this. of the flour. Yeah, you can do it like this, or you can just rub it together if you have a bigger bowl. This bowl is a little too. Mm -mm. You don't do it like that. Rub like Rub. that. Rub. Yes, because this is a delicate process. Do you think that samosas make themselves? No, you make the samosas. You work hard. They don't make themselves. But then should have clipped your hair back, sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah, I, I think you need a little bit more oil. Oil. Okay, I'm gonna leave the teaspoon now. So you just have to manage the consistency. Just think, like think for yourself. <laughs> Just think for yourself until it yes. becomes like breadcrumbs. Yes. yes, as if you're making um, batter for like cake. Yeah, rub it together. Mm -hmm. Unless you've got a machine or something. No, you have to give it love. If you're doing it with a machine, it's going to become that. You know, it's not going to taste nice. It's going to taste very artificial. But if Who you make it? it homey with your hands, it's going to taste like I don't homey. know, man. Mpile, please get in there. Like, rub, 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 sushi. And that's like, it's, it's fine. Too that's, much. That's what's supposed to happen. It's fine. Oh, you my God. This is too. I think we need a little bit more oil, though. We need more oil. Then yeah, because oil, let me know. Sushi. The bottom, the bottom flour is not like grainy. It's still smooth and get in there. Get in there. Make sure you get in all. But we're gonna waste. This bowl is too little. You're not gonna waste because you're going to roll the dough onto the counter. You're going to use all of that stuff. All right, guys. So you're gonna do this movement for about. A good for as long as it takes for that food to feel the love. See? All right, so now we're going to add the the, the one cup of water. Right? No, we're going to add water until it starts to become doughy. Oh, we're gonna add the water until it starts to become a little doughy. Please yeah. add in the water. So what we're trying to um, create is like play-doh. Yeah, as you can see, it's so grainy and it looks like breadcrumbs. This is how it's supposed to be. Now we're going to add. So it says one cup, so we're going to add two. Yeah. Okay. Start first with that one, right. so that we can judge the consistency. Because we don't want to make it too wet. We just want to make it perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think one one cup is fine. Eh? Mm -hmm. Look at it. Is it's it becoming, already like clay? Yeah. yeah, I don't think we need any more. I think that's because you put in so much love in the first process that like the dough is adhering. <laughs> <laughs> now you can take it out the bowl, slurp it Wait. out the bowl. Okay. I'm trying to get every single piece. Don't you need a little bit of water? I think more I need a little, little bit more. Okay. But not a full cup, right? No, not even half. Okay. Just the sprinkle. Splash. Yeah. <laughs> A splish splash. Yeah, then you're gonna roll it around, you know, play with it until you get it all out there, you know. Yeah. 
-hmm. Like that. That's how you do it. Like mommy cool. style. Yes, mommy style. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is how it's supposed to be sticky and nice. You get it out there. What do you do? What do you do, sister? So that's just supposed to put a little bit of flour here. Now then you roll it there on the floor. Aren't you supposed to put flour here? Not on the floor, on <laughs> the counter. Aren't you supposed to put a little bit of flour here? You've got you've still got those dry particles there, so use that so long. Yo oh, wow. Okay? I'm gonna use this so long. We just need a dash of like Jenny yeah. Oliver. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, on my clothes. Okay. Did you think this is going to be a clean process? And then I'm gonna roll it, roll it, holy. Beat it. You better beat it, girl. Uh uh. Okay. Um. Now make sure that it's smooth and not lumpy. Um, how to make samosas ghetto style. Um, peel it. Please, can you just roll it? No, not with that. The roller comes after. You do it with your hands the whole time. Did you what? think like this? this is a labor of love, honey? Like this? A labor of love. No, the way you were doing it, mom style. Mom style? Yeah. Oh, like this? Please. Oh, then why don't you say, why do you fight me? Just tell me what to do. I can't hear you. But you just want to do your own modern things. This is not how to make modern samosas. This is like... We said how to make samosas ghetto style, bruh. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> beat it. You better beat it. Stop girl. beating the stuff and make sure that it's nice and smooth. Yeah, I see them doing this and doing that. Yeah. And doing that. What do moms do when they do... Uh, um, Pili, stop it. Okay, sorry. But then come on. Like, can't you have fun? No, you can't beat the dough. What if it comes out weird? Okay, you can't Because of our dough. abusive behavior. Oh, mommy style. Yes, mommy style. Mommy does, does like this. Mm -hmm. Well, mommy doesn't make samosa. Our mom doesn't make samosa. She makes the dambi. Dumpling. She makes dumpling. Le dumbolo. And this is how she does it, yeah? So after beating the dough, <laughs> you must um, put it inside plastic and put it back in whatever bowl you want to put it back. We put it back in our dirty bowl, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And then you must cover it in plastic and let it sit for 30 minutes. That's yes. what we're going to do. So now we're going to go and prepare our stuffing while we wait. So it's me, the master chef. And we're going to be doing... <laughs> Why are you so jealous? Sorry We're about. going to be doing the fun part of the samosas. So here we have ground beef which we've mixed with masala. That's why it has um, the color in it with masala uh, powder. And then we have mashed potato. So yeah. And then we have McCain mixed vegetables. And also make sure that it's flavorful because samosas have color. Then we have our chicken here. So we want a variety of samosas and make sure that you add flavor to it. Make sure that you add as, as much spices as you want. This is chicken breast and we shredded it. So we have our mixing bowl and then we have our side plate. And now we're going to roll. I'm going to show you how to roll the samosa. So now we're going to start with formulating the samosas and adding our filling inside. Make sure you take a generous roll and roll it in your hands put it down on the powder and then get a roller if you don't have a roller you can just use something to get it nice and round get in there girl yep this is where the niceness happens where the magic happens so what is the dough called, girl? It's called chipati. Actually, chipati bread. I had a friend. He's from Kenya, and he used to say that chipati bread is one of the delicacies there in Kenya, and they use, they make the bread like this, and then they eat it with, um, like they eat it with um, mince or meat. Or it's like they starch, like how we have rice and everything. Okay, just try and make it round. I'm not really a circle kind of girl. And then, yeah, just make it a big circle. Mm -hmm. Then, then what you do, you're gonna cut it into a semi semi circle. You're gonna cut it into a semi circle. Okay. 
And then, in order to get your V-shape, turn it around. And then, you turn it like this. Mm -hmm. Like you're doing a baby's diaper. Get in a little bit of water in your hands so that it becomes sticky. And then, there you go. There you have it, folks. A nice cone. So, before we start putting our food in our cone, we're going to take the red one. Take the red ones. I don't like mixing colors with whites, but anyways. We're going to take the mints. We're going to take the mash. We're going to take the mixed veggies. Oh, not the chicken. This is a mint samosa. Ooh, this is the beef one. Mm -hmm. Ground beef. To be more Mix technical. it all around. Mix it all around. Mix it all up. You know what? In order for this food to be made with love, you need to just then you stuff it. Get in there, and then you just stuff it. Mm. Look at that, a nice fat hearty samosa. Not like the ones that we buy at the shops, and then they don't give us, you know, they don't um, give us enough meat, meat inside it. Like then you there. pinch it at the end. You have to pinch it again. If you can't close it. Just use a little bit of water and it will simply close. Done! If your dough is a correct. big hearty samosa. Okay. Um, so we're going to add in our folded samosas into the hot oil. Ooh, nope. I'm not about to make that mistake. Of burning me fingers. Oh, so you want to give each one TLC? Yeah. Okay. We both have different cooking methods, guys. Yeah, and I'm the best cook, so I don't know. Just there. But yeah, so you're gonna put it in the hot oil until it's golden brown. Look at that. Now that is a snack Ooh. so now this is how they're supposed to look you're just gonna take them out with like a surf or whatever you have a spatula, spatula and just drain the oil out make sure you get all that oil out let it drip let it drip let it drip so as you can see, we are done with our samosas. Our first time trying out how to make samosas. So as you can see, this one is huge. This one is the beef one. And this one is very tiny. This one is the vegan one. And that one has got shredded chicken inside. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to put some guacamole on the top. And some hot sauce. What's a good place with the hot sauce? So yeah, that's what we did. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Enjoy and happy Thursday. <laughs>